Hey folks, this is Adri Richards and I would like to ask you a question. Do you have places on your website that you send people to often? Like in my case, I have Get Notified of Upcoming Workshops. Now when people click this, it goes to this really long link at FeedBurner. Uh, what is FeedBurner? FeedBurner is usually known uh, for helping you manage your RSS feeds. Well, it can also be used to manage your mailing list, you know, so that you don't have to have some weird complicated service doing it. Uh, more on that later. Let's go back here. So if you want to be notified of upcoming workshops at Fresh Workshops, you put in your email address uh, and then it's double opt-in, which means you sign up here and then you get an email saying, are you sure you want to sign up? That's the best way to do um, a mailing list. Please never get someone's business card and add them to your mailing list without their permission. That would be spamming. Anyway, the address at the top is really long, right? So if I said, oh yeah, to sign up, you just go to la 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 la. Okay, well, how can you, how can you make that an easier process? I'll show you. Um, using GoDaddy, GoDaddy supports do, uh, subdomains, which a lot of um, domain registrars do. Uh, I think GoDaddy's process is quite easy. So once you have a domain name set up there and your DNS is hosted there, you get access to um, a record like this. Basically, this is the main part of your domain name. This this has all the rules of where your website goes to, yada yada. We'll talk about that in another uh, video or workshop. The important thing here is in the lower left hand corner, it's kind of hidden, they have subdomains. The cool thing is you can put in a word and that will become your subdomain. So for example, sign up, and that means if people go to signup.freshworkshops.com, and I'll do that here, let's start off at Google first google.com so let's say you're like oh yeah you want to sign up to be notified yeah just go to sign up dot fresh workshops.com and look at that it takes them to the sign up form so that means I don't have to read off this really long address well how do we do that well let's go into sign up and see how it's set up it's really easy which I like all right we'll just try that and I pop in here and so subdomain sign up and then forward so you put in any address you want in this case I'm pointing it to a uh, sign up form you know I created uh, through FeedBurner this can go anywhere though um, you see I have another one for feedback and the feedback one goes to uh, a form that I ask people to fill out after they've completed a workshop so I can understand uh, did it meet their needs were there things that I could do to improve uh, the presentation for next time and were there things that I didn't include that they were expecting to see. I think it's very helpful to get feedback from people so that you know you're on track. So how would it look if we do feedback? Well I'll show you. Let's go back up here and let's do feedback.freshworkshops.com and this is going to um, a Google form uh, that's another thing. If you are use, if you have Gmail, you have access to this. If you're using Google Apps, you have access to this. It's um, known as um, in Google Docs and spreadsheets, you have the ability to make a form. The awesome thing is not only can you uh, create a form which people can fill out, it goes directly to an online Excel spreadsheet. It is amazing and has been a huge time saver for me. You can customize this a lot more too. More of that in another video. Anyway, um, I, I give my contact information. What did you think? Uh, I have several workshops listed so folks can tell me which one they took, uh, what went good, what could have gone better, could you rate it, and was there something that we missed, you know? So I, it's very effective. See, powered by Google Docs. You need to get on Google Docs. And yes, there will be an upcoming workshop for that. So this is a great way to shorten your URLs on your website uh, and, and, and make things easier for people to find, especially when you are telling uh, your business story and just say, yeah, go right over to sign up. You're good to go. With that, thanks. Take care.